Well, I, we did a pretty good job of guarding them in the first half. Uh, we gave up a couple of threes that allowed them to get a little bit of separation uh, by uh, Mark Lyons. Uh, that's eight point deficit at halftime. That's six points. But in the second half, we didn't do as good a job. They got in a rhythm and uh, they gained a lot of confidence and uh, we started making shots. And we weren't and there it went. Uh, I told I told Sean after the game, the way they defend, they're making shots they're really, really tough to be. Does it matter so many open looks that got you uh, Open looks that they were getting? Oh, yeah. I mean, we, we just, uh, just, just mentally took a step back defensively in the second half. When Ed Duell stepped out to start the half, yeah. you kind of looked befuddled and at a, at a loss for words there. What was going through your mind when that first turnover occurred? Just we talked about that. Make sure we caught the ball in a certain area. area. We didn't catch the ball where we were supposed to catch it. Then to turn over. Not a good way to start a half when you're up eight. When you're, when you're playing here against them, when you come up empty with several possessions, the floodgates can open. Eventually that's what happened. Although, I was pleased with the way we took care of the ball on the road and the survival against that team. Nine turnovers, I thought we did a good job there. And we saw you extremely animated, probably about midway through the second half in the huddle, and the guys kind of woke up a little bit after that. What message were you trying to get across there, and why did you feel like you had to be so demonstrative at that point? Play with pride. When you're down, don't sleepwalk the rest of this game. Play with some pride. Play with a chip on your shoulder. We talk about that all the time, but it's 9-1-1 right now. I don't want to come in here and lose about 30 40 points. Cut this down and play hard. You feel like something that's been that's something that's been missing all year, or was it spe more specific to the situation? Oh, I thought we had done a much better job early. It happened several times, but I thought we'd done a much better job with that. Here recently in the last three, four weeks, but tonight in the second half, we regressed in that regard. Did uh, things change or did the momentum swing on the Injai Param sort of play there and it resulted in a technical for Aim Jai, and it just seemed that would just give them a little boost more going into halftime. Well, put in Aziz on the bench, it was his Great. third foul. So that, that was a pivotal moment just for that reason alone. And then not having that shot blocker inside, obviously that freed it up for them to just go inside time and time again. Yeah, but you have to go by somebody to get inside. And just didn't think we did a very good job all around defensively in that second half. We give them a lot of credit because they made shots and they were aggressive and they played with confidence. And the, the one thing they, that you have really felt proud about your team is that you really hadn't blown anybody out, but you hadn't yeah. been blown out. That, ended out. that streak ended tonight. So we uh, took a step back there. And the, uh, just the message thing that you gave them after the game was what? Uh, just talked about uh, we didn't guard like we should have, but that was a byproduct of the core of the matter. We didn't go out there and just compete in the second half like we were capable of doing. You don't compete, things don't go your way. Is this a time that can lead to finger pointing when you take a step back? And how do you manage that within your group? I think so far our group has done a pretty good job of not finger pointing. And I don't know if that's going to happen now. Then, then also, are these the, the type of defeats that cause you to, to make changes and say, well, maybe now it is time to. We do already made different. changes. Yeah. We already made some changes. You know, and again, uh, as I said, that wasn't a pattern, that second half. That hasn't happened. I'm not going to have a knee-jerk reaction based off the second half. We play against the number 12 team in the country here, and they're a good basketball team. You can't afford 
to not come out in the second half and not compete at a high level because they won't take advantage of it, which they did. But that has not been our identity in the, in the last games. We've, we've competed. That hadn't been an issue. So second half, we're not all of a sudden going to make wholesale changes. We've already made a couple of changes. Shots not going down or not rebounding as well or not playing defense as well is one thing, but does the when you speak to a lack of pride thing or you have to prompt them to play with more pride, is that more irritating than any of those fundamental yeah, but things? I don't, we don't play with a lack of pride. In the second half, we played with a lack of pride. Okay. If we say we don't play with a lack of pride, well, then that's what our team is all about. We never play with pride. No, our team does play harder and competes more often than not. Tonight in the second half, we didn't play with the type of pride we like when we got down. First half, I thought we competed. That wasn't the case the entire game. Did um, Arizona did do any one thing to really give you guys problems? They made their, their shots. They were very aggressive offensively. We just didn't. Tonight, we didn't have the firepower to withstand any type of runs that they made on us. We just didn't have the firepower to combat what they did.